my favorite thing about my job is rewriting the narrative of what a doctor's appointment is supposed to look like. I think a lot of people go to the doctor and they're nervous. They might feel a little intimidated. And I think my favorite thing is just having conversations with them like you would over coffee and reassuring them that there's nothing to be nervous about talking them through procedures and you know what they can expect during their appointment or after their appointment. At Intervene MD, we see patients of all ranges. We see patients in their late teens, we see patients over 100 years old, but I would say a middle-aged patient is probably our most common patient. A lot of what we offer is to improve function and performance, whether that be athletic performance or just having the ability to walk your daughter down the aisle comfortably or get on the floor and play with your grandkids. The beauty of this practice is we have a ton of options, a lot of different solutions, whether that's doing shockwave or magnet therapy, using the VASPR or LIVO2, which is oxygen deprivation training. We have the MSculpt Neo and the MCELA here, so we can strengthen different muscle groups or work on incontinence or sexual health and wellness. We do platelet-rich plasma and human growth hormone prolotherapy. We're one of the top locations in the Southeast for the PRP HGH program. So whether it's something seemingly simple like, you know, golfer's elbow or a much bigger problem like a patient who's had a multi-level fusion, we have plenty, plenty of solutions to offer, which allows people to kind of choose, okay, what makes sense in my schedule? What makes sense in my budget? What makes sense for my lifestyle? And I think having all these options, while it can initially maybe seem overwhelming because you have more than one option, it has allowed us to more effectively treat all kinds of different problems. By the time that a lot of patients get to us, they feel very discouraged, misunderstood, or like they're not being listened to. They feel kind of hopeless because they've been told there's nothing that can be done for them by multiple offices. I think really just rewriting that narrative has been the best part of healthcare. Is seeing someone leave laughing and smiling or having a little bit better of a day, that's really what does it for me.